So then guys, into today's gameplay for the Road to Glory. The first gameplay we've had back since we brought back the Road to Glory. And all I can really say is Dybala and Nerez are nuts. Most of these clips are not Nerez's goals here from before I knew how to use Nerez. And I'm going to basically give you a summary. Have fun with him. Use his insane pace. Use his insane skills. And pretty much what you do is you absolutely get... You just get into the box. You shoot. He has insane shot power. Um, his shooting is best from the edge of the box. Like in just inside the box or just outside the box. Finesse shots are insane. He's He's got such good power on his shots. It's unreal. It basically means he scores every chance. And you'll see with his record that these clips aren't even half of the story. They are, These clips are actually insulting him. He's a really fun player to use. Dybala, as you'll probably know, he's absolutely insane. Um, You guys wouldn't have seen anything with Dybala, actually. Or with Rooney. Because I, um... Because, well, I ended the series, you know, I ended the Road to Glory at the start of Team of the Year, and Dybala was released during Team of the Year, Rooney was released at the end, and Rooney's currently on the bench. But, you know, it's fine, Rooney's also been pretty decent, I was going to do that uh, Road to 100 series with him, I got to almost 25 goals, or just over 25 goals, um, but I thought I wasn't going to be using it striker, so I decided to delete everything I had so far, and then when I actually got him to 25 goals, I just decided, you know what, I give up, can't be bothered. So, yeah. Uh, here's Nerez, um, that is what he normally scores, it's just, I don't really mind if he doesn't score that though, because he, he's, he's really good, he's just good, right, I really, like, Nerez is fun, like, this is what he does, this is what you do in Nerez, bang, fun, that is the fun element of this card, I think we are going to see the power element just in a second, uh, but there you can see Nerez using his skill, and, um, as you can see here, this is what you do in Nerez, that, that, that's the pace. I'm basically, I just showed you the dribbling, I've just showed you the skill, I've showed you the pace. Now you just need to see his insane finishing ability. Because near post, with power, this guy scores every shot. His shots look so nice, it's unreal. This guy's got the nicest looking shots in the game. Do I actually green time this? No, I didn't. But I just stuck it to the corner with Nerez. Um, this is probably gameplay that you actually want to see, because I think this is with Nerez when I was enjoying him. So, oh... <laughs> oh, it's disgusting, Nerez, pal. You're you're a disgusting player. You are. You're, this card is insane, right? I really enjoy this card. Um, probably not as good as Dybala. I don't like him as much as Dybala. Dybala's got to be my favourite player all year so far. He, him and Nerez will stay in the team at Team of the Season. My front three for the rest of the game might actually be Nerez, Dybala and Figo. Maybe Figo will eventually come out. Because I'll probably get someone else, maybe. And just put him on the bench or use him in an SBC for, like, Gerard or something. Because I would, if Gerard came out, I would put Figo in there and just get a new attacker. Because Dybala and Nerez are meta, overpowered, really cool, really good cards. And Deco, disgusting lad. I think he doesn't normally have that in his locker. Deco's another one of those cards I'd get rid of in a heartbeat. But, you know, maybe we keep him around. That's a bit of an example of what he can do. And Team of the Season is coming, guys. So the Team of the Year plan for this year is at the end. And Dybala, just insane. Like, my team is so much fun. Uh, my team's more fun than meta, if you ask me. Like, Kleiber, yeah, you see him everywhere, but and he's meta. I play him at centre-back, and I know that's pretty rat, but I don't play five-back. I don't play five-back with two centre-backs and then Varane. No, I don't play a five-back with two full-backs with 99 pace, with two centre-backs on shadows who normally... Uh, two centre-backs who are meant to be full-backs um, on shadows. I don't do that. I've only got Kleiber on an anchor there. Um, and I also don't play five back, and um, then you'll normally see a Varane in the middle or something, or you'll see a Puyol for chemistry. But this is an example of the free kick strategy, guys. Uh, fake shot with Dybala, bang, get that ball into him, and then he's still got a lot to do. A nice little bridge dribble, touch, spin inside, Ugh, just disgusting. Okay, time for rivals rewards. We took untradeables this week. First pack, we didn't get anything, it was just a goal pack. Second goal pack. Again, we didn't get anything. We did get a rare card, so eh. Um, and from this pack, we got Payet, which is, again, meh. Um, we got Nacho, Champions League card, which isn't bad, but again, meh. We finally got two boards there in Higuain and Jimenez. And then we got Zakaria and Nangolan, so pretty shocking. So, into the record of Figo. 34 games, 17 goals, and 21 assists. Obviously, we packed him in tradable from a division rivals mega pack, which is really, really cool. 
Um, we also have Dybala now on 101 games, 98 goals and 73 assists. My favourite player this year, his dribbling is insane, he feels so fast. His shooting is overpowered as hell. His passing's really nice, he, his, he doesn't feel weak. His freestyle weak foot isn't much of a problem because you just know it's he's, he's left-footed because it's just instinct and Neres, 13 games. 21 goals and 8 assists. What can I say? This guy is insane. Nippo shots. Power on him. He'll be mental. He'll be insane. He's a lot of fun. And he's got a plus 1 upgrade coming. Well, it's already happened. It should have already happened anyway. I just haven't been on FIFA recently. And now moving into marquee matchups packs. This isn't a marquee matchup pack. I got this for completing an objective. I got Varan and Navas. So very nice. Too bad they don't fit. First marquee matchup pack. We get Guerrero, which is about 8k, 7k nowadays in the market. Because of the Icon SVC, which we won't be doing. We also got Brozovic, who sold for something like 8k. Um, the next pack we got was our worst pack for our marquee matchups. But we still got Jack Grealish in there. And we got a West Prom Silver. If only it was FIFA 20, that would be worth about 10k. Too bad. Um, from this pack, we got Bruno Fernandes, who we sold for about 35,000. And from the final marquee matchups pack, we get Matteo Kovacic and Ozil. Who is on my bench. His football birthday is on my bench. Yeah. And um, yeah. So as a confirmation. We sold Bruno for 34k. And then the others we sold for around what I thought. And then I think we sold Kavasa for a couple. Maybe maybe 4k actually. Something like 4k. And this is the content for today. We got a player of the month. Kostic. Looks like a decent card. Maybe you can shift him left back in game. And move a full back to centre back. If you're a little sweat. But he looks average. Um, also two star weak foot isn't great. Three star skill moves isn't great as well. He's just not very usable he's decent good fodder but no one's really interested a league and challenge for a league and prime plays pack i think that is not gonna do it not interested in a league and team of the season this time round. and um yeah this aguero as well he looks all right but for like over 1.5 million well you're looking at around a million coins from he just isn't worth it now let's get into my team of the year plan and that'll be it for this episode so then, guys, it's now time for my team of the season plan. I don't normally have a plan for team of the season, but I'm going to go over it pretty, pretty quickly, or I'm going to ramble. But in terms of objective plays and SBC cards, I will only do them if they 100% fit my team. So if it doesn't fit my team and it's a decent card, not going to do it unless it's really dirt, unless it's dirt cheap. By team of the season, I want to have over 200,000 liquid coins, and I want to have enough fodder to complete... The A guaranteed Serie A team of the season, a guaranteed Eredivisie team of the season, and a guaranteed Argentinian League team of the season. Um, and if you're wondering why I want 200k, because I want to pick up team of the season Romero from Atalanta, team of the season Emiliano Martinez, a team of the season that fits in in my right back spot either Argentinian, so Taglia Fico or Philip Max would be really insane cards to have in those positions. So I'm hoping that we get one of them, or Senesi. I would genuinely take Sanessi over Romero. I, if I could get them both and then just use a bronze keeper, I would. Because we wouldn't even need a keeper at that point. But Sanessi is really good. And then I could put his normal card into an SPC. But I don't think many people will vote for Sanessi for that community team of the season. I think people will vote Tagliafico because he's high rated. But I'm hoping that either Philip Max, Sanessi or Tagliafico get one. And I will pick up whoever's there. And then I'll also get, obviously, Romero. And then I'll get Emiliano Martinez, and then I'll get a Serie A midfielder, anyone. I'm hoping it's the Paul. The Paul has really, he's got two informs, and he look, he looks cracked. Um, I'll I'll put in some cards that I've designed, or in terms of Eredivisie cards that I want, probably Kudus. Kudus? Kudus, or a Cam Anthony. But they'll be really absurd, expensive. Kudus will probably be like 200k. Romero, depending on how much pace he has, he'll probably have like 83, 84 pace, so he'll probably be about 80k. Emiliano Martinez, depending on his rating, will either be 40k or 100k. Um, and then for Tagliafico, you're looking probably 200k because of that Neres link he has, That that's just overpowered. But if Philip Max were to get it, you're looking at probably about 80k, even though his card looks insane, the one that I designed. Um... To be fair, I don't really care who I get. I just want someone pretty decent just to have in that team. Um, Romero is my main target because I can. There's no good Argentinian centre backs. So that's what other than Sanessi. So my main aim for this team of the season is team of the season Romero and Martinez. I can get his inform. Um, in terms of the pool, I can use Duncan or I can just get one 
And in terms of foot champs, I'm going to be playing for Eredivisie foot champs. And I'm going to be playing for Serie A foot champs, not Argentinian league foot champs. Because the only the only reason I'll do Argentinian league at guaranteed team of the season back is if there's a really good Argentinian fullback or centre mid in there somewhere. So, other than that guys, that is my team of the season plan. 200k liquid coins, uh, enough fodder to do probably an 85 rated squad, an 83 rated squad, and another 83 rated squad. I have an 85 rated squad worth of players, but that would probably include Neymar, Deco. Neymar or Deco. I don't want to submit any of them. I just need high rated fodder and there's not really anything coming out. Especially if EA are releasing fucking end of an era. Um, Sergio Aguero's for probably four times the price as a end of an era Rooney. And end of an era Rooney. I'm not, he's not as good. But end of an era Rooney is very similar and he does a better job in terms of diversity. Diversity in terms of where he can play. But that is it for this episode, guys. Go check out my other channels, Velocity Motorsport, if you are interested in F1 content. Let me know if you want me to do a Sebastian Vettel to glory. I've had a little trial of it on five lap races. I can do full seasons if you want. 50% races, 25% races in my spare time if you want. Um, obviously, F1 2021 release date has been confirmed as well. That's releasing on the 16th of July. Um, in terms of other stuff, you know, third channel, Minecraft. I'm not really uploading that at the moment unless I were to do the four chunks thing with my friend. Oh, mainly on this main channel at the minute, we're posting Leo Career Mode, we're posting RTG, and we're posting the SMP. The SMP is not banging in views, but it's banging in activity. I'm really enjoying it. The storyline is so much fun. And, like, I can even see the storyline being interesting if I wasn't making videos on it, because it's just really interesting. STG, man, shut up! I don't... I'm, okay, sorry about that. I was watching an STG video on my video on my TV, and... Um, that TV was going to turn off, so I had to click that, and it started playing his video. Shut up. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment for players that you want me to try during Team of the Season. Uh, I might do a review for a Team of the Season. I've got 70k at the minute. I just need another 130. So, I need to hopefully pack something big from somewhere else, or I just need to... Do some tra I'm not doing trading or bronze pack. I could that can fuck off. I'm not doing anything that takes a long time. I just want to get lucky in packs or something. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, what will the next video be? Who knows? And when will I upload it? Could be now. Could be next year. Could be never. <laughs> I, I, my uploading is awful. I've still got to upload the little career mode as well. I just remembered. Oh. Let's let, let's just go, guys. I've got to upload Leo Career Mode, then Community Team of the Season Vote, then this video. But they're all being recorded on the Friday. Oh, man. I literally only get two days a week to properly do videos. Nice. Right. Thank you for watching. See you all next time. I've rambled. But, you know, it's fine. It's me.